everyone thank you for clicking on my channel welcome to the journey home we're going to do an afternoon delight for the weekend fitting zodiacs will be out tomorrow evening i might be putting out a video on uh, a segment of woo talk that we did in their last live stream i haven't decided yet we'll see the talk, the woo talk about Bitcoin. All right, at the head of the reading, we have the Page of Air. Six of Earth. Strength at this part of the reading. Justice. Page of Water. Oh, Tower Reversed. And the Queen of Air. So straight off the top, guys, I gotta tell you that it looks like you're you've you're, you've cut something out, or you're cutting something out of your life to avoid uh, that tower moment. For some of you, you're just delaying it. Um, I don't think so. I like seeing that Queen right beside that, and that came out in reverse. So just depending on who you are and who it resonates how it resonates for you you're either delaying a tower moment or by God's grace a tower moment is avoided and delayed while you um, problem solve and remove the things that need to be removed as far as obstacles or challenges or just cutting things out at the head of your reading, though, we have someone spying on you. They want to have equal give and take with you. They see you as very strong, um, wanting justice, and by golly, you're going to have it. So this person who's watching you realizes that in order to proceed, or and they are waiting for the right moment to communicate, that uh, things are going to have to change. You're already creating a new reality for yourself. Um, this feels very strong, strong energy, guys. This really feels strong about uh, doing the right thing, no matter how hard it is. Doing the right thing uh, with a lot of strength, conviction. Now, if this is someone that is a potential future mate or partner, whether it's in business, crime, love, uh, they realize that. I think this person is t intimidated with you. Uh, you're coming across as strong, royal, uh, your own boss wanting that equality uh, not settling for less you're creating this new reality they either conform and fit into that reality or they don't so if this is a potential somebody coming forward they're looking at you like uh, wow am I even good enough for this person which really isn't a good headspace to be in guys uh, maybe that's why they're waiting until they step up to the plate because we have some major arcanas here if you're creating this new reality uh, you're not going to get involved with any nonsense this person knows it and they want to have equal give and take with you. I'm, I'm just not sure that this person feels like they have enough to offer. Interesting. So it's taking so long to shuffle these clarifying cards, but sometimes that's the way it goes. Okay, they finally spoke to me. Stand your ground with this person. This is also about expansion, guys. 
you're ready to expand the, it feels like you're you're in the energy of you're in or you're out but I'm not waiting yeah partnerships and alliances that's what you want you want partnership you want alliance you want people of like minds around you they know it and I love the visual on that they certainly want to reach out and give you that hand strength there is strength in truth there is truth in strength very uh, there's strong Libra energy here too that's the justice card foundations and achievements oh yeah baby moving on you've already started creating your new reality you're moving on here this reality that you're moving towards um now he's holding a like a watch or a pocket watch there Perhaps you're just in a space of time is precious to me. I'm creating this reality. Um, unless what you have to say is of importance and has the meat to it, please don't waste my time. It is a feeling too, guys, for those of you who are watching this video, this really feels like you're moving towards abundance maybe this person this is why this person feels like maybe i can't step up to the plate they they look at you as stronger than themselves you're this really feels like you're intimidating solitude yeah <laughs> if i'm going to avoid a tower moment the best way is just to stay home this weekend make popcorn have a have a bubble bath Get under the blankets and watch Netflix. There is mental conflict. This is no surprise to me. The mental conflict here, because you are cutting things out, you are standing your ground, you are creating a new reality. This mental conflict may be a feeling of, well, maybe I could. I should be a little more patient with this person. I should maybe cut them a little bit more slack. But the other side of you is like, geez, I really don't have that kind of time. Uh, do I want to waste my time? This holds up my new reality. This slows me down. But then again, I really like this person. You know, this could be a friend, family member someone you're butting heads with or this could be just someone who wants to come forward and and help as much as they can but maybe they're getting in the way and you're trying to be uh, nicely tell them to get in step or move aside because you're slowing me down you are moving on you are creating a reality you're building a strong foundation here. You're making achievements. Who is this person, guys? Princess of Pentacles. All right, so they, they, it's still a page. <laughs> but they are going to come forward and make an offer. Either a gift, a business deal, um, an invitation. Uh, you're not going to invest more than is necessary. You are holding on to perhaps a grudge. This person may want to reach out for a partnership, have that equal give and take, uh, but they may feel like they may feel like they might get the dirty end of the stick. You may feel like you'll get the dirty end of the stick. 
you know, giving more than getting. Maybe this is why the mental conflict. Yeah, but if I accept your offer, how much of the effort is going to be on my part and not on yours? Focus here, holy smokes, is on work, working on yourself, working on your business, working on your career, your family, your, your focus. This is the master craftsman, what you're good at what you're strong at. Now, this is landing on the strength card and the truth card. For some of you, this may be like your happiest buried in your work. It keeps you grounded. It keeps you strong. It keeps you clear-minded. Foundations, achievements, moving on to calmer waters moving towards abundance this new reality that you're creating I, it, this is that multitasking now this is multitasking successfully but it could be that this person is just dragging those energies a wee bit you're not necessarily wanting to slow down Perhaps that's why you avoided the tower moment. You went into solitude. You're just focusing on your abilities, your achievements, your foundations. You're in or you're out. And maybe if this person comes ahead with an offer and says, I'm in, you're like, wow, is that the best you can do? Strength again. Wow. Wow, you guys. My tribe is super freaking powerful. This person is going to ah, uh, there may be a situation happen, guys, where this person, because of this offer, sets you back. Maybe that's why you go into solitude or you hold back or you maybe haven't forgotten the last time you were burned. Or, but this hangman, this pausing to look at it from another point of view, you're in conflict over this point of view. Is it the right point of view? You want those scales of justice to balance. And this is why I think some of you are focusing on just withdrawing. I'll think about it. I'll... I'm, I'm, I gotta get, I'm on a deadline here, so I'll get back to you. And even though you're trying to stay focused on work, this mental conflict is coming through. But what I think, guys, is it's helping you to sort things out. Sort, sort it out in your mind, your heart. And this is what's giving you such strength. I mean, strength showed up twice here. Justice showed up twice here. You're creating a powerful energy around you, a new reality. And this, this, this poor person you're standing your ground with, well, they, they, it just feels like they got a little bit of growing to do. <laughs> They've got, look at this. This card was lying out. I'll put that card right up there. So maybe this person just needs the time to learn how to communicate more clearly. Maybe they came across as cold in the past. But that brings us to the King of Swords and the Queen of Air, which is the same thing, the Queen of Swords. I think you will finally come to good communication with this person, but perhaps you're just taking the weekend uh, to do some soul searching of your own, to do some thinking, to do some planning of your own. I know some of you out there and you've been recently inspired, focused on your future. And this seems to be falling in line with that. So let's get a message about your love life. Just let's just get a message about your love life, a message of uh, maybe advice or what's going on. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at that. 
retreat, separation, free yourself. Yeah, I think that's what you're going to be doing this weekend or over the next few days. Just staying on your own to focus on you. To clear those energies, time apart. It's a good thing. You disconnect from the world. It's a good thing now and then. We have true love coming towards you here. The romance of a lifetime. With that beautiful honeymoon stage. And what are these last two cards? Well, well, well. Calling in your soulmate. Yipper. Calling in your soulmate. Time is passing. You are evolving. You are becoming who you were meant to be in this new cycle in the Aquarius age. By all means, reward yourself. I hope that helped. God bless you. Bye-bye for now.